Talk about the packages or the yeah, event itself? Yeah, I mean, the packages aren't. Let me look. They don't tell me anything. Oh, I mean, the packages are nothing new as far as prices. That I don't know. But uh, yeah, the packages and stuff aren't anything new. It's something we've done, at least since I've been here. So I'm not sure what they're looking for. What we as a town about is packages. Actually, we advertise a lot. Well, I meant for the expo specifically. Oh, what? Basically, like to bring air quality in, public works, um, talk about the water, the geothermal. They want, like, like a food. Oh, okay. Like so, a food like a food. Yeah. yeah, so if you guys want to have, I mean, there's, I don't know how many of them have. We have several coming in from out of town. Um, yeah, it's just if you guys want a booth there, yeah. we, like she was saying, air quality or, you know, public works. Or, this looks like it's asking for ads. Well, it's probably ads. It's ads and it's just kind oh, of and your and your choice would be uh huh. Yep. Okay. So that's another one. Well, not necessarily. We just need to figure out what we're using for. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
between the committee and the sheriff are probably 90 percent there and then once we once the committee and the sheriff <coughs> come together mm -hmm. then it'll go to council and to the commissioners for approval and at that point it'll go to legal and then go from there okay thank you hey anybody else Rhonda Dial, I live at 16 South First Street, and I want to respectfully ask our town what it's going to take to start getting some animal control here. And I know that we can't just like implement, decide today and implement it tomorrow, but we need to start working on this. The other day, we had two different sets of dogs mating in the street on Facebook. Now, I know it's funny at the offset, but the puppies afterwards are not funny. And I've been dealing with this on my own for years. I'm not crying around about it. I just need our town to step in and make a plan for us to have some animal control in the future. I don't care what I have to do to help. I don't need to be paid. I just need some help here. And if I can do anything to help our town move forward on this, I will do it. Thank you. With the budget coming up, I know that's something that I'm very passionate about as well, is that um, it's, it's control here. And um, I think that that's something we need to look at budget stuff and figure out where we can put some funding towards that. It may be small in the beginning, but we've got to start somewhere. Um, you know, and, and that's definitely, we're going to the budget come March. We can finish that out by June. Um, I think we definitely need to look at and talk about or look at what our old ordinances are. I would imagine there's probably something out there, I don't know, but what our old ordinance are, what ordinances are, and if we need to pass the new ones, kind of get that into a revenue system. Do we have any more under public comment? Okay, hearing none, we'll move to department reports, uh, 911, Scott's not here. Dennis? I have nothing further unless you have questions. Pardon? Nothing further unless you have questions for me. Okay. Everything's going good over there? Seems to be for right now. Okay. Uh, nothing for the no, police unless the sheriff has anything for us. <laughs> Pretty much gave the update already where we're at. Yeah. On the uh, public works, Jeff. Yeah, we, we had a, a citizen came in and was concerned about our street signs or the lack of them. And since then, we've taken inventory and, and put out a request for quotes from two different companies to get our uh, replace most of the street location signs. They're all pretty faded and outdated, so we're waiting for a quote on those. 
naturally we've been doing our snow removal. Um, we got well six. The well that we had uh, relined with casing and uh, the well driller is 99% done, Daryl? We're done. Okay, he's still on the hole. Yeah, he is. He's got his uh, machine on the hole. Okay, so. But yeah, so we'll be, uh, we have some in house stuff we gotta do. We gotta re gravel pack it, get a clam a pump over here to put the pump back in it, and rebuild the building. We'll be ready well before springtime when we need it. So we'll have that up and running. Um, I've been working on a water resource protection grant from Oregon Health Authority. I've never written a grant before, but there's no time like the present. Um, they're trying to tailor make this grant that's available for two years in a row for $30,000 each time. Um, and I've been working with one of their representatives to try and tailor make our grant to fit their needs. So hopefully we'll get it this year and next year. Um, haven't sent that off yet. Uh, I had a question for Daryl, actually. Uh, I saw that with our letter of intent, we got back a score of 68. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What does that, how does that rate us against other projects? That's, that's a pretty good score. Uh, that's on the water treatment process. Um, we should be getting a, a letter uh, from, uh, um, that will come from Larry Holstein from that department to invite us to put in an application. So uh, I expect that tomorrow or the next day. So uh, that will uh, get that application in. Uh, I might add the other part of that financing was uh, through USDA Rural Development. So we've been working on that application also. Um, you have to do all that online with the special accounts and then we were we're basically shut down for 35 days. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. 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 it's possible it could happen again Friday. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so your deadline's Friday. Friday. <laughs> 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 it's like mad dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, understandable. Okay. You have any more to report, Daryl? Uh, the well six is complete. Uh, that well had a casing failure. The bottom was full at the bottom 35 feet. Um, we cleaned it out. Ran into some things in the bottom. Um, the camera again located it so that the driller could get the pipe and get removed. So we put a new 10 inch, 10 inch liner down the well um, and the annular space between the 12 inch and 10 inch, uh, like what Jeff was talking about, we're going to fill the ground pack. So the town used to chlorinate down the wells a long, long time ago. I, I pulled them out in the late 80s, but sometimes it's chlorine. Supply tube was not in the right place in the well. The drip against the casing. The casing in. So um, anyway, that well should be back for, for another 30, 30 years. How many wells does that give us going? One, two, mm -hmm. three, four. Um, we have four. Yeah, you know, just hang four. around because uh, you know we got a, another item that's here. Actually, there will probably be two on that one. Um, I need to back up on, that, um, on informational items. I apologize. This one, this one, I do have to read. It's addressed to the council, and it needs to. But I have two letters here. One is to whom, whom it may concern. At the town of Lakeview, I live on South Third Street, across from the high school, and would like to ask one last time. Please put up residential speed zone signs from the west end of 3rd Street at the Little League Fields to the east end of 3rd Street at F Street. There is one sign at the east end of the street and nothing else in between. I count 100 plus speeding a day and get told anything from drop dead to I won't say when I ask people to slow down. Please do something before someone gets killed. Um, we are working on this. Roberta and I both got an email from an outfit on these signs, and Scott's been um, also involved with doing these signs before. So we're going to look into uh, getting those. But we've also been working with the State Highway 
to put up uh, what were the crossing signs for the kids on Third Street that they hit a button and the lights flashed and people got to stop so they can cross the streets on the highway. Yeah, on, on, three, on 395. On the highway yeah. or on third? On the highway or on third the, street? On the highway. That's my yeah, third. One on each side of the highway. At third. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's a safe crossing zone. Okay. Has okay. anybody who looked at the Safe Routes to School program, this Oregon, offer that or is there any money left in it for the state of Oregon? Yeah, like, we, have, we have gotten some money on that before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I can't tell you. I can't. I, I don't know. We'll that, that, that was a federal program that was distributed by the states, I believe, what that was. Yeah, yeah. a bunch of uh, ramps mm -hmm. and curb and stuff. That's yeah. what built those down between the schools. Okay. I don't have yeah. the problem with the same It's called the Safe Routes to School Program. It's a federal program that the money is distributed by the state and like you should qualify for it. If there's anything left in it, it's been around yeah. for quite a few years, so there might not be any <coughs> And if, if we get those, Jeff, if we can get those, um, I'd be more than willing to work with you guys on install them. I've done about 150 of them. Okay. They're pretty simple. Yeah. You're talking about the flashing one. The, both the, the, the crossing, the flashing one for pedestrian crossing, and also the radar speed signs for school zones, like the ones that are on 295. Sure. Those are pretty simple. And I'd be more than, more than willing to donate my time to come out and put those in. The, the one out north been really effective. I live right there and it has slowed people down, you know, 15 or 20 miles an hour. And, you know, even when there's no school bus or anything present, it's just it slowed everybody down. Like that. There's a good sign because they, they don't, don't turn on there. They, they work good because they don't come on until somebody's there. So right. as soon as they turn on, it catches your eye. It gives you, gives you an idea of um, we did all the towns, we did all of Reading, we did all the Shasta Lake City, Anderson, and uh, Red Bluff. And in Paradise, three years before this fire we had up there, we hit, I think, 40 cents of those in Paradise. I'll look into it and see what they're out funding-wise and what options you may have. Another one, and I end up with back to my notes that we discussed um, besides just that one. And I can also, I still have two manufacturers that build those. I could probably get uh, dealer pricing with still, because we're kind of getting bought from the past moment. Mm -hmm. We would have to count out. Um, this one here, council, is one we all received, and I'm not sure if, if I'm supposed to read it on the floor or if it's a, you know, uh, confidential. confidential, but I've never run into this before. Well. So it's you know, but we all have it and we know what it says. So that one there, I'm gonna probably should talk with Pedlin before it's read. All right, I don't want to get in trouble. So let's move on to. Hang on, Stewart's turn first. Yes. Shall I approach? Yeah. Stuart, Stuart, and uh, I just wanted to comment that South 3rd Street, from the time you turn off the Roberta on the South 3rd, it does say 25 miles an hour past the Little League fields. So if people choose to speed through there, then it's, I'm just letting you know, that's, it's 25 from that point all the way up through 3rd Street. So it's, po it's posted down there. It's posted the down there. As you turn off at Roberta on the third South Third Street, it's a it's little like, sign, one of the old ones, isn't yeah. it? But I see it. Yeah, yeah, I do too. But <laughs> well, I, I, I understand. I mean, I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just clarifying that there, there yeah. is a sign posted further on down. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think we're part of where she's going with this is there Good. needs to be some crossing control and some radar signs around. Yeah, I know. At, at, at that mm -hmm. street, yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. So. And South honest, Athens, Athens, Athens. I think one of the other issues that we deal with, and, and this is obviously not the time of year for it, but um, the section I work on the bird at one of the issues is it feels like a very large road because there's no lines on the road right now. Well, it kind of is. But I think people tend to speed when they don't have that confined space a little bit more. The lines aren't so bad over there on South Third, but I know that they are fading. You guys probably have more We, we don't have those. a striping machine. So the county has always taken care of those in the past, and okay. So maybe this 
well into the warmer yeah. weather. So we we'll need to, to make some kind of an IGA with the county to do so. Yeah. I mean, it's not a huge big yeah. cost, but it would yeah. be a small deterrent, you know, sure. for, for people, a little less rural filling. Yeah, maybe we do a labor trade we had a project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I, address I just wanted to say one quick thing real yeah. quick too is I want to give kudos to the people who are plowing the streets on a Sunday, clearing them out, clearing out the driveways. Yeah. Awesome job. I don't yeah, know who's responsible for that, but that's yeah, a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, you know, so yeah, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, they, you guys have really done a great job staying on top of it and preparing uh, for this new apocalypse coming up, right? Snow no. And why yet? Yeah. Well, Thank you, right? That sometimes these guys are out at midnight yeah. plowing, so you only see a few of them because the other half's got to work during the day. I see all of them. They go right by my house. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to them all night long. Me too. So. Taylor wanted to address the speeding um, concerns, Ray. Sure, Taylor wanted to address the speeding concerns. We, we've received multiple um, complaints uh, regarding speeding in that area. Usually it's during baseball season. and during the summertime. We've addressed it on multiple occasions also. In fact, I've assigned uh, our deputies down there a mandatory of two hours a day um, at intermittent times, high, uh, high uh, traffic times when uh, practice is in session and when they're having baseball games. The average, average medium speed that we got out of there was 13 miles over the speed limit. Now, is that excessive? When there's kids around, yeah, that's excessive. Uh, but the highest speed we got out of there was 47 miles an hour. We're getting complaints that they're going 80 miles an hour, they're going 100 miles an hour, or they're going you know, 50 miles an hour. That's just not the case. I think what we see when we're watching vehicles go by, it obviously looks a lot faster than what it really is. We've yeah. even given residents of that area a handheld radar. They've gone out there and, and they've clocked uh, uh, vehicles again, you know, the average medium speed is 43 miles an hour. Where we have work most of the time is on the S Street, like S's and Sam, and that goes right down to the, the baseball fields. Um, it changes from 25, I think it goes to 35 to Center Street. So if it's 35 miles an hour and you're doing 43, we're talking eight miles over the speed limit. Not really that excessive on it. Um, but when there's a bunch of kids around, um, it is. We like to keep it down. We've made multiple, um, I would say, close to 100 traffic stops. I don't tell my deputies I have to write tickets. That is up to their discretion. If somebody needs a ticket, they get a ticket. If somebody can, can get the message, slow down with just a verbal exchange. I feel education is the best way to take care of this. Um, so that's how we deal with that, if somebody gets it they get a verbal warning. If they don't get it and they need some um, intervention, we'll write them a ticket. So it, that has been addressed. I want you to know that uh, we have specifically addressed it for the last three years on multiple occasions. And there is a, a problem, but not as sig significant as um, I think they want you to mm -hmm. believe it. Yeah. Well, and I think with the uniqueness of the way our roads are in some of our areas, when we go from 45 to 35, 25 in a very limited span, it can be a little bit of a, an able, I think, sometimes. Yes. Like, yeah. It's not me, trust me. <laughs> I'm scared of death speed. Wait a minute, I'm killing all the The people that we catch speeding in these areas the most are the people that live in these areas. <laughs> so there's a big problem yeah. there, too. Wow. Okay. Um, let's move on to new business. Uh, Southern Oregon Tourism Representatives regarding Lodging Tax. We met with them earlier. And as of this time, I'm going to appoint uh, Mike Warren as the uh, chairman of our Lodging Tax Committee because he has been doing this for several years. And he understands this Lodging Tax a lot better than I do. So you can work, get your committee together and work back and forth with the chamber and see what you guys can come up with. Thank you very much. Uh, drinking water, state revolving fund, that's what Daryl just was explaining to us. So, 
And then um, now this one. Advertisement for bed, sewer, and water extension for Red Rock Biofuels. Darrell? Yeah, that project is out to bid. It extends the water line up past the Red Rock site on Cadermas from the intersection of M Street where the Ready Mix site is, uh, or Ready Mix plant is, rather. It extends the sewer line uh, up to the Red Rock site going east on Cadermas. Um, that project is, is advertised. Um, we had it. For a while, if you remember, Red Rock had to sign the agreement and they actually paid the loan payments on that one. That one was the town's kind of just the medium to get that done for them. Um, Red Rock today, um, the local project manager said he didn't want any work down there until September. Um, until when? A few months ago, they wanted the water really quickly. And so, well, they didn't want anything on the road interfering with their construction traffic, you know, cavernous. So, um, how many days is this project estimated for, Bill? Oh, construction time? Mm -hmm. Probably 30 to 45 to the outside. And you want to start in September? So, I guess, I guess I don't really care. Um, I can issue an addendum that that's part of the contract that can't work till that time. Um, and we're also going to have to put the paving out for bid also. Yeah, and if that if that is this year, I assume that's this year, then that, that's a fairly tight window to get that done. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be over 50000 I'm sure. Maybe? Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, you're going to run into temperature issues getting the plate in there. Well, you do, unless you have asphalt here. The things that we run into with asphalt is we generally have to truck it mm -hmm. 100 miles. So if, if that asphalt plant there, yeah. <clears throat> but I don't know what the plan for that asphalt plant. It's still sitting there, but anyway. Um, what, what I'd like to do on this, I think since we have some time, I'm going to extend the bid date uh, a week. Uh, that's not going to hurt anything. And, uh, I'm not going to be here that week of the 26th. Um, I've got a schedule soon that I'm going to be gone. So I think I'm going to just extend that week, extend the bid date. And then, uh, I might chat with Red Rock some more. <coughs> yeah. We need to go ahead with the bid opening and get it so contractors get it in on that. We're going to move it from uh, February 26th to March 4th. Also, in my report, um, I didn't quite finish. Um, I wanted to have a work session with the council to go over some of this public works thing. Um, so I've requested that. I know you've been busy with the sheriff and all your meetings with that, but I would like to get one scheduled with fairly soon. Yeah. Okay. When, when would you like it? Uh, maybe if you know, I'll be gone your next meeting. When's that? The 24th? 26. 26. How about the first one in March? Okay. Does that work? Yeah. The 12th? Yeah, it'll be March 12th. We could have 30, 45 minutes or so. That would probably be a good opportunity for us to go over any questions about water master plan. I mean, I've been to that meeting, you know, we were just there as well. And we just got a copy of that. Um, maybe since we got you there already, we have any questions for, I mean, I know Scott's more of a water buff, but um, I certainly would like a few, probably a few questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any more on that there? Okay, let's go to Lake Lily. We met with uh, them and put some changes and things there. And they'll meet with their board and we'll all meet back together again. And I did talk to Jeff briefly. Okay. Um, Jeff? <laughs> 
Um, they can do the backflow testing um, for us. Uh, we might need to figure out something with the grader because the grader may not always be upper. So that may not be something we can include. And I hate to include it and us not have an operating well, that's why we need to grader. Sit down and talk with Jeff. Um, yeah. So provide them. let me let me uh, let me go talk to. Are, are we talking about twenty hours of work? Or are we talking about? I don't even think that would be like a day of grading the, um, when the weather yeah, program. Yeah, we're probably going to do it. Pardews voluntarily yes. did it a time or two. Get rid of those potholes and stuff down there. But yeah, we hit dog leg construction. Yeah, I think that one we probably will have to take out. Well, I was going to see if I could uh, get the grader to do that. Well, we can take out the grader. Yeah, we can take out the grader. Yeah, because that's not going to be that much work. Yeah, it's not going to be that much work. Yeah, it's not going to be that much work. Yeah, it's not going to be that much work. Well, the Little League has no problem getting somebody to donate it. What the issue is, is they would like to focus some of their, um, their contributions elsewhere. Okay. Uh, you know, we I mean, Pardue gives a lot, Collins gives a lot, and I think they would, you know, like, one of the things that they give is, uh, one of them gives is rock. And we would love them to give us more rock and less, and they give grading and rock, less grading and more rock type thing, or something with their, you know, stuff they've got planning um, coming up. They like to kind of reallocate where they're putting their contributions. And so, what I know that the, you know, Buddy would like to see a contribution from the town. We just have to figure out how that looks okay. and what we can do. I don't, I don't feel like the grading is something maybe we can do. I'd really hate to get stuck in figuring out or contracting that out somehow. So maybe, um, and the pesticides currently there's not somebody. Um, we don't have anybody? No, yeah, but, you know, okay. yeah, we have two years because is it yes, Jager, years. Jager yeah. is going to do it. So, you know, we can put in, but at the same time, that's another concern is if we don't have somebody that's licensed to do that, right. we're stuck having to cram somebody getting licensed or whatever. Um, maybe we need to look at our contribution as a man hour thing. Is public works looking at possibly getting the... Uh, we've, we've talked about it, yeah. Do we have a cost or anything on that stuff? Because I think it would be a good idea. Yeah, it wouldn't be too... It wouldn't be bad. Maybe we can talk about it at a later date. Sure. The county has two people, too, is it? At least, yeah. At least. Yeah. Um, and then there's a couple companies um, that provide that or, or businesses. Um, there's a gentleman out in and I think there's another... That's Jason. Uh, there's Chris Wilson. Chris Wilson. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, there's options out there. We just need to really figure out. Um, I think what I'll do is, is kind of let Buddy know that we may not be able to provide those two things and figure out what the, the Little League really is okay with us contributing. Possibly if he goes over and talks to the commissioner and um, the county might be able to do it. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to do it. Are they building something down there? Or what are They're they looking at expanding and eventually having all stars. That's been our goal we've been, when I was on the board. So what are they doing? Um, some really quality fields, some major rodent management, some new buildings eventually for storing equipment. We'd like to have functioning bathrooms. See, and they're going to lay sod down yeah. in the two ball fields. Oh, with water lines. They're doing that. Yeah, water lines. Water lines with time water sprinklers uh, on those. Because currently we've used this. Big cannon that's very inefficient, and so uh, that's their long-term plan. They'd love to see I think this estimate in a couple of years all stars be held here because we don't qualify as it is because uh, the condition of those fields. So yeah, I think that's some ambition. You know, that's some big trying to make it more more appealing for the kids and trying to bring more in for the youth in the lake view because there's not a lot here. You, you weren't here earlier in the meeting, but they were, we talked about the work session of uh, being able to do, they call it the old man softball tournaments. Softball. And, uh, old women too. <laughs> yeah, and then also looking at doing some soccer, possibly some soccer tournaments out there. But they, they Little League roughly has about 300 children signed up every year. Those numbers have been steadily increasing, and that's a pretty sizable. Well, we built the soccer field. Volunteers, mm -hmm. service and club project. <coughs> look at it. Yeah, I think you get the community behind it. Like that's 
I can tell you, having served on that board and been down there many days, um, contributing my own time, it is a probably the toughest sport me and my children have ever been involved in to get a contribution of man hours. We got fabulous donations, but man, it's tough to get because it's a busy season, and if you have more than one kid, you are just. So what do they need now? They just need the parking lot. They're just wanting um, a grading every year and some pesticide maintenance. They've got some plants. They've got their own water. They're doing all that. I mean, they're looking at like $1,500 contribution from the town in man hours, which, I mean, Jeff would know this better, but I kind of guessed, I mean, roughly two guys for four days. Yeah. You know, be it. We, we can commit to that. I didn't think that was what I thought. Maybe we can find out in the budget, which we're going to look at here shortly, you know, in another month or so. But um, we're just trying to figure out how we can yeah. That is within our needs, pretty much. Our grader is like towards the twilight of its life. It's, it's, it's a pretty old one that's beyond its twilight <laughs> by two lifetimes. Mm -hmm. So I don't like to volunteer. I, I it totally work. understand. Yeah. yeah. No, it's hard to there's, so, there's so much. Even the used one, you know, it's $200,000. Yeah. We'd love to get you a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and that's not going to happen. Okay. Um, we'll move on down to the mayor, council, and manager update. I did have some new business on oh, the, okay. under there. So I know that the, one of my frustrations is I am, I like to get stuff done. <laughs> and um, I know that Scott has met with, um, the committee has met with um, Sheriff Taylor and regarding the sheriff's contract. And it's my understanding that budget is a big, a big leftover issue. Um, where are we at? Do we, do we have a number that we've come up with um, or level of service? I, it's kind of hard. We, we don't have two of our. It at this time. Until Sheriff Taylor and I have another community. Okay. So, well, the discussion is you need to kind of know what the council wants for level of service um, or what we're okay with. Right, and once Sheriff, yeah. Taylor, which, once Sheriff Taylor and I have our meeting on Thursday, we will come up with numbers and where we see that the town could afford it will be submitted to the council and we discuss it. Okay, so you guys are thinking this Thursday you're going to have to meet No, we will have it Thursday. Sheriff Taylor was available, I'm available. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to legal. Now, after we get all the details worked out, then council sees it. Mm -hmm. And they approve it or make changes in that basically. I talked to Stephen about that um, in Salem, the attorney, our um, labor attorney. He said it goes to legal before the council approves it. Because before once we approve, approve it, it right. it's a before they thought. approve it, that they get to look at it to offer any changes in their opinion prior to it going to be. So you guys will see it before this. Okay. I, I would love it to see it go faster rather than later. Well, it, there's a process and it's not going to move much faster than it's going to move. Which I understand, but I, I had a lengthy conversation with the attorney about it, about what way we need to go and what process. I mean, if we keep pushing this off, we're starting to be really clear. So well, I, I could tell you in the conversations I've had with these attorneys, if we listen to what they want, We'll be sitting at this table having the same. No, I'm just talking about the year. process, not the contract. Yeah. It's once we have our meeting on Thursday, we'll come to a, hopefully agreement and we'll have a, uh, a contract, hopefully together, that Sheriff Taylor and the committee agrees on. You guys will have, as the council, will have a chance to look at it, uh, push your opinions and put in your input, and then it'll go legal. If it doesn't make any sense to send it to legal and then bring it back and the council reject it. Well, and that's where the discussion, yes, I know we're missing two of our members, so we don't. I, I do know, given what Darwin has said in a meeting here, that he was okay with proving it as it was um, originally. But um, I don't know Sandy's input. But um, because what happens then is we're looking at in two weeks it comes to council. Um, let's say there's more discussion changes um, or not. And then we have two more weeks where it, attorneys are looking at it, and then it's called due process. Back to us, Stephen portrayed that we do not have to bring it to the council first. Um, that if you guys, after having discussed what the council wants um, in, in the meeting, take it to the attorney for 
him to review that you can bring it to the council with the expectation that's of fine. I, his turn. You know, the, the idea was to give the commissioners and the council a chance to look at it mm -hmm. before it goes to the legal. Because if it goes to legal and it comes back, and the council or the commissioners decide to change something, it's got to go back to the legal. So if you think it's yeah. being drawn out now, well, I think maybe we'll have um, we'll have to have Stephen maybe reiterate the information he sent me the other day because um, uh, I was under the impression it did not have to go to the council. Did it that? does not have to go to council, but yeah. if it goes to legal and council says I want this change, or the commissioners say I want this change, mm -hmm. it's got to go back to the legal to be approved before it can be passed. Yes, but we could do that all inclusive with the council at the same time. At the same time as what? Like, let's say, two, we just sent it to legal Thursday. We can um, come two weeks from today, uh, bringing changes that legal says and the council and go back. Right, but it's got to go back. The whole purpose of sending it to the council prior to going to legal is try to skip a step so it don't have to go to legal, back to council, back to legal. Yeah, I, I just, I'm going off what he told me. I just think that we need to expedite this as much as possible. I know we can't expedite it any faster than what we're going because I think you guys know where I'm coming from. I, 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 I want this contract done as bad as the next person. Yeah. Honestly, I'm tired of dealing with it. And I'm sure Sheriff Taylor's tired of dealing with it. I can the tell reason you why it's been drug out the way it is is because of council. So we need to get together a contract. The council, the town council needs to look at it because legal council is going to start dragging it out and saying, no, we can't do this, mm -hmm. we need to change this. Mm -hmm. And the commissioners need to look at it to make sure that we're all in agreement before we send it to legal. Because if we don't do that, and it goes to legal, it comes back, we change a bunch of stuff, it goes to legal again, it comes back, we change stuff, and we'll be here until next year. There's a process, and a certain way this all has to be done. And the quickest way to expedite it is the way that we're working on right now, to where you guys look at it prior to it. Going so it don't go back and forth to legal three or four times. And that's what we're trying to prevent. Because if we do it, if we send it from Sheriff Taylor and I directly to legal without I understand what you're saying. I just have a, looking at it. a conversation that kind of contradicts that. That's why I'm well, yeah, I, I wish we they're attorneys just, and they want to draw as much money out of this as well. His was faster. You know, <laughs> I thought his was faster. How is it faster? Because it was going to be discussed. Um, at a council meeting, what the level of service and funding among, obviously, in the ideal world, all five of us, then we would go back to the committee, hammer that out, be done, go to legal, and then bring it back with the understanding that you met with the council that would be your time. So I'll just have Stephen issue a, a, you know, a statement so we're all understanding the same thing and clarify. Okay. I have nothing. No. Oh, no. The only other thing was that we have that, um, I sent you guys an email about, um, there's an organization, Oregon, Oregon Citizens Utility Board, that is planning on coming next week to meet with the commissioners. I would like to utilize the opportunity to meet with them. Um, it's something that um, has never happened in this side of the state. Um, and obviously, it, it's named. There'll be a work session set up for that. It'll be announced by the law. They also are going to do a public meeting in the evening, so um, I'm not sure the details of that yet. Well, the work session will be at a question and answer period. Yeah. Uh, but they are also meeting with the commissioner and their uh, the um, county commissioners, mm -hmm. and they'll have a public and a public question and answer period, and they're doing a thing with the uh, chamber of commerce also. And I'll have more information on that probably tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I, I just want to make you guys aware of it. Okay. Anybody have anything else? Okay. We will adjourn council meeting at uh, 4.46.